Who is El Chapo Isidro? Fausto Isidro Mesa Flores, alias Chapito, or Chapo Isidro, is a relatively new, previously low-profile figure who is believed to have operated in the underworld of Mexico since the 1990s. His growing influence in the state of Sinaloa led to the United States Department of Treasury to designate its network as a drug trafficking organization in January 2013. The Story of Chapo Isidro According to the United States government, Chapo Isidro has been trafficking large quantities of drugs outside of Mexico since the 2000s, operating from Wasabi in the state of Sinaloa. Other reports indicate that he began his criminal career working for Amado Carrillo Fuentes, who was the leader of the Juarez cartel, and who allegedly died in 1997 after plastic surgery. After the death of Carrillo Fuentes, Chapo Isidro began working with the Beltran Leva organization, and at that time he would ally himself with what would later be his rival, the Sinaloa cartel. When Alfredo Beltran Leva was arrested in 2008, there was a violent break between the faction led by Joaquin El Chapo Guzman and the rest of the Beltran Leva brothers. Chapo Isidro stayed with the Beltran Leva. Reports on Chapo's criminal activities began to emerge more frequently in 2011. In November of that year, connections were found between him and 32 corrupt police officers in a home in Sinaloa. And he was also linked to the murder of 16 people whose burnt corpses were found in trucks in Culiacán, a little further south. The exact role of Chapo Isidro in the Mexican organization crime is not yet entirely clear. The U.S. authorities claim that he runs his own organization, the Mesa Flores Network, which operates in Guasave and in the surrounding cities in the state of Sinaloa. In the north of the country, in the geographical area known as the Golden Triangle, a central area for drug production in Mexico. The group in which some members of the Chapo's family would also play a key role. He has apparently trafficked large amounts of cocaine, methamphetamine, marijuana, and heroin to the United States since 2000. Chapo Isidro was born June 9, 1982. His organizations are the Mesa Flores Network and the Beltran Leva Organization. His criminal activities are drug trafficking, kidnapping, extortion, and murder. He is currently free and is believed to be in the state of Sinaloa in Mexico. A statement issued by the United States Treasury Department, the agency points out the rivalry between Chapo Isidro and Chapo Guzman as the main responsible for fourfold increases in the murders related to the drug war that lasted more than four years in the state of Sinaloa. According to Borderland B, this war was driven between the betrayal of one of Chapo Isidro's partner who deserted and went to work for the Sinaloa cartel. Other reports indicate that Chapo Isidro was the right hand of the now captured Hector Beltran Leiva, and that he served as a high level hitman for the cartel leading a group known as Los Mazatlecos. It is believed that his support in the Beltran Leiva helped them maintain control in the state of Sinaloa, despite the continuous clashes with the Sinaloa cartel. Chapo Isidro and his group would have faced and won against a cell of the Sinaloa cartel called Los Antrax, and they have also been cited as the main actors and winners of a shooting against the Sinaloa cartel forces in Tubutama, in the state of Sonora. It is believed that Chapo's group controls ranches in which marijuana and poppy are produced for the Beltran Leyva. After the capture of Hector Beltran Leyva in 2014, it was rumored that Chapo Isidro was crowned as the new leader of the Beltran Leyva. However, he didn't have enough character to become the main leader of the organization. It is also believed that Chapo Isidro leads a group called La Oficina, which apparently has a presence in Baja California Sur, where this group allegedly murdered two members of a rival group in August 2011 unleashing a violent fight for control of La Plaza. This group is allegedly composed of members from the Michoacan family, Los Zetas, the Gulf Cartel, and the Beltran Leva. Jesus Manuel Reyes Flores, alias El Negro, an alleged member 
of La Oficina arrested in 2012 told the authorities that the group had murdered dozens of local drug traffickers in Los Cabos, Baja California Sur. Apparently, Chapo has incorporated the local police and other authorities into his network, which offers him a certain level of protection and confidence through bribes in his area of operation. He has also proven to be elusive. An army operation in 2010 in Troy, Sinaloa, resulted in the death of two soldiers and 12 armed men. But Chapo Isidro still managed to escape. In December 2013, one of its main collaborators, Ignacio Nacho Gonzalez, was captured and 12 others alleged members of the Mazatlecos were killed in July 2014, including some high-level members of the structure in an operation that aimed at capturing Chapo Isidro. This showed the amount of influence and power the Chapo Isidro was growing, leading the Mexican authorities to focus on him. It is still unclear whether the Mesa Flores network can really be considered an organized crime group. But now that Chapo Guzman has been captured, Chapo Isidro's group has a shot at taking control of Sinaloa. His criminal activities are Chapo Isidro is allegedly involved in transnational drug trafficking to the United States, as well as fighting for control in cities. It is also believed that his group is also an armed wing of the Beltran Leyva in Sinaloa. El Chapo Isidro's influence is mainly in the state of Sinaloa. However, there are reports that he also has a presence in Baja California Sur. The main enemy of Chapo Isidro is the Sinaloa cartel and his main ally is the Beltran Leva. Chapo Isidro is still free, fighting for control of Sinaloa and doing horrible acts against humanity. He roams the rural areas of Sinaloa with impunity.